Restart recording. There we go. Okay, be back in a bit. All right, back. I got some cashews. Yum. I made myself some poor tea. Hello. Oh, nice. Welcome back. Fancy. It is Ooh. very nice. What's next? Uh, poor. 
It's a post fermented tea. Ah, uh, okay. I've just got normal tea, <laughs> unfortunately. Normal tea is good. Normal tea is nice. Mm. Mm -hmm. It is a uh, so loose leaf though, so maybe there's hope for me yet. What kind of tea are you drinking? Um, Scented tea, flavored tea, like regular tea, black. Regular tea, just the breakfast one, really. Ah. I suppose I don't know. I'm not very experimental with my tea. <laughs> what color is it? <laughs> brown. Like dark reddish brown. No, like sort of honeyed, golden sort of brown. Okay, I think. Mm -hmm. You know, just like English breakfast, that kind of stuff. But Tim just says it's tea, so I'm like, okay, that'll do. <laughs> See, when it's golden, it could either be a very, very steeped green tea or a, or a light black tea or red tea. Yeah, probably closer to black tea. Yeah, it doesn't have that, that grassy herbal taste. No, no. Then it's black tea. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's, been, awesome. it's been allowed to oxidize more. Mm -hmm. My tea is almost uh, mahogany red. Ah. Lovely. It's kind of like. nice. It has this very, how to describe it, earthy, nutty... very sort of like smooth it's not a strong taste but it has it's a it's a distinct taste it's nice yeah yeah there's the stuff that i've been really meaning to get actually but it's like really expensive so sort of, but it's like um it's called scotch blend and it's pretty much just like uh, i'm trying to remember it's not honeyed but it's like it's like Set. almost caramelized sort of thing oh that, and that's it's insanely good what was it called scotch blend Scotch blend, yeah, you get it from like T2. If you have that. And it's. Yes, it's really good. <laughs> like a girl at my work drinks it. I'm always just like, can I have a bit, please? Scottish blend. Let's see, what's mm. this? Scottish. Scottish blend. <laughs> blend. Aye. It's been so long since I spoke the way I used to, so now I have to, I have to actually start thinking. <laughs> oh, yeah, you like put on the accent almost. <laughs> yeah. I know it's it's easier when I hear somebody else do it because then it sort of comes back. <laughs> yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. I remember those days. Mm. Yeah. Definitely. It's like I've never really lost my accent really, but I remember like occasionally I'd say something like when I was in Australia that was like really Australian and I just sort of like lose all sense of self for a couple of minutes. But. <laughs> Oh, that's quite funny. It's more like if I'm deliberately trying to like cough, like back. do an accent as well. Like, welcome back. Mm. Okay. Hello. Chat. Oh my God, have you ever heard like a, Actually, have you the ever American heard like accent a... has has um, it's it's more it was how do you describe this? It, it, it's more true to what English used to sound like than British English. Yeah, I remember hearing that too. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. Geographical iso isolation has uh, kept a lot of the old um, uh, language patterns. Mm-hmm. So you could argue that British, <laughs> this is the bastardized version of English. Yeah, exactly. Even worse. Yes, I remember ages ago. I think they did um, in London. They've got like a a replica of um, Shakespeare's old theatre, mm -hmm. and they did like a play, and they like put on accents of what they believed the accent would have been during the time of the play. 
Yeah. It was, and it, garbage. Like, it was made it completely different. Yeah. yeah. No. Like, <laughs> it, like, because it was just so much more fast paced, and like the actors like really had to sort of change the way they sort of spaced their words and everything, because it just completely like gave a new sort of. Yeah, intonations and everything. Mm -hmm. Fun, mm -hmm. Yeah. Even vowels. Is there like recording some of Shakespeare's or? rhymes still rhyme anymore, but they'd rhyme back then because they were pronounced different. Yeah, 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 definitely. Interesting. Mm hmm So also that was really interesting. It's like um Yeah, I think I remember hearing that the Scottish accent's slowly becoming more American because of like how much American T V we get. Ah, Same ah, in Sweden. Ah, no. <laughs> 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 yeah, Swedish television is just garbage through and through. Swedish film mm -hmm. is a real joke. Uh -huh. I mean, the yeah, I, I got from my here. mom gives they give spare pictures in case you fucking I don't know how you lose the picture inside the locket, but in case you saw the picture inside the locket. They gave you spare, mini, tiny pictures to put back in. Yeah. <laughs> tiny, tiny pictures. Fuck. That's just very considerate of them. You're welcome. Mm. God, I need to watch that movie again. I also need to do this shit. I, I should probably watch it in the first place. Bruh. What do you mean, bruh? <laughs> you, just don't, you just don't watch movies. You just watch anime all the time. What? I don't even watch anime. Don't say fucking, will you watch Full Metal Alchemist? <sighs> fucking everyone, a lot of people fucking watch Full Metal Alchemist. Yeah, One of the most know. syndicated animes in existence. I mean, it's, it's that... on Netflix, so that makes it pretty low. Yeah, that too. Yeah. <laughs> like, that... Bleach, One Piece, Naruto, that all that shit, that's hyper... Dragon Ball Z. Mm. Dragon Ball Z, of course, of course. <laughs> I always forget that Pokemon was a fucking anime. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I'm Asian, was... you assume I watch anime? That's, that's fucked up. Look, I gotta fucking go. Anyways. <laughs> I <laughs> always like having who that that pocket ace of my own. I'm like, like, I could drop the race card on you guys at any point. Haha! -ha! Oh, it's because of Asian. Thank you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Even though Fred knows what Chinese they mean. Also, happy Chinese New Year, Fred. Uh... Yes. Happy Chinese New Year. Mm. Yeah, yeah, Everyone's alright. Right. I'm going to fight, Tai. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm here, by the way, I'm just eating cashews. Okay, that's what, okay, that's what I was wondering. That is a, that's a good diet. Cashews and coffee, let's fucking go. Oh, baby. I lost my iced tea, damn it. Oh no! You played yourself I'm like gonna you go find it. Middle. One sec. Did she say don't start, or... She said start? one sec. Oh, one sec. Okay, I'm deaf. Yeah, she has to go get whole tea. Tea. Oh, yeah, yeah. What, a, what a homie that guy is. I found is. it. Hey! Oh, yeah, boy. Uh, you didn't find Ice-T the rapper? <laughs> Damn. Uh, he was He's on, more of an actor uh, than a rapper. He's on Lore, Law and Order. Um, is that like a hybrid bon. between Mr. T and Ice Cube? No, although I, I'm surprised. There, I don't think there was a, a, a collab between Ice-T and Ice Cube because that, it would make fucking sense. It would just it? be called Icy. <laughs> Ice tea. No, they would just call it Ice Tea again because <laughs> you need ice cubes in Ice Tea mm -hmm. to make it in Ice Tea. Ice Tea, but the fucking album art is just them having a nice afternoon. Just drinking tea. Rapping. Today was a good day. Yeah. Anyways, so you, uh, Jonah, um, you, you guys gotta bust out your own mess kits, but it's fine because you guys have mess kits. Oh, okay. Serve y'all some stew made from some rabbit, some mushrooms that are not the drug kind, like they're not the psychedelic kind. Well, oh, damn, but those are the best kind. Some wild taters. And he brought some tomatoes. Mm, potatoes. Do tomatoes? <laughs> grow? No, they have to grow in the wild. They're fucking plants. I'll shut the fuck up. <laughs> <clears throat> Anyways. Wild. No, no, he had taters, not tomatoes. Tomatoes. Not tatoes. He has taters. It's not Fallout. Po Potatoes. Tots and tater tots. No. So, you guys are just sort of enjoying Jonah's cooking. It's not the best you've had. That means that, you know, there's no Abin. Mm. But it's 
for a long day's travel and it is getting a bit colder out. Stew is stew. Cold night tonight. Yes, yeah, stew is stew. You are hungry. God, rabbit stew would be delicious. Uh. I hate including food in my game. It just makes me angry. <laughs> Why do you think I made ramen? Because I knew this was gonna happen. Oh man, he should just—he should just make fucking ramen. <laughs> Damn, so, that means so much immersion. Uh, he could have made uh, Hayao Miyazaki's um, poor man's ramen. Uh. There's, there's a clip of that. There's a clip of that where he actually makes it for the studio. Fuck yes. Actually, no. I, I haven't saved. I'll find it for you. Hell yeah. Don't ask why I haven't saved. Don't because it me. looks delicious? Maybe. Uh, well, man. Are you sexually attracted to how they draw art, uh, food? I'm sorry, Maybe. are you sexually attracted to what? How they draw what? food in there you the go. fucking movies. <laughs> Wow, this is an old ass video. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> okay. It's a good video. Okay. It's a good video. Don't disrespect Hi Miyazaki's poor man's rubbin. So yeah, you guys are sort of just chilling, sitting on the ground or on some stumps that uh, Jonah has brought up. I swear, let's actually change the music. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I was like, so this seems off. I, I feel like I've forgotten to do something with Bob Bright. Remember what that's what I forgot to do. <clears throat> Use the old standby of what happens when you're showing it. It's a classic standby for showing it. So, you guys are enjoying Jonah's stew, killing at camp. And as you guys are just sort of inspecting the place, because it's a very peculiar site that he chose to set up camp in. I don't think any of you guys have set up in literal bones before. It's a new one. It's a new one. Uh, you guys hear a voice call from down the ladder, by where the horses are. Were you expecting guests? Giant shakes his head. Swallows. Sandra has hand on guns. Where are you? <laughs> mm -hmm. just pretty... <clears throat> what do they hear? I just pretty god bugs can't talk. Hello there. You got a spare room by the fire? Yeah, I just looks at you guys. <laughs> Sandra just like shrugs and kind of passes the judgment to Varric. <laughs> Varric is like, he gives you like a scrutinizing look, like, why the fuck? He just does like a roll with like his, um, like his mess kit spoon, like, uh, go ahead. Jonah shouts down. Come on up. We have some stew, if he wants it. I haven't eaten in days, greatly appreciated. That's how I found you. I smelled the rabbit. I'm coming up. Jonah nods sagely. <laughs> rabbit is the best meat of all. Don't let any city slickers tell you otherwise. So, you guys hear the, you know, wood rattling against, uh, I guess, vine based uh, rope. Climbing up. I don't know, Fred, what do they see? as the person climbs up. <clears throat> yes, so they see a tall, human-like man, broad across the shoulder, built. He's got raven black, long hair, tied back. Uh, there, He's got like a, it's hard to tell in the, in, until he gets into the firelight. He's got sort of like a side cut. He's got thick, dark eyebrows and a very short beard, more of a, a lining of his chin than any sort of like full, it's not a bush, so to speak. Uh, no mustache like at all. Yeah. Um, he's, he's his. Once he gets into the firelight as well, you can see that his eyes are like they're like blue agates. Uh, his skin is pale gray, almost like granite. 
there are dark patterns, dark patches on his otherwise gray skin, um, almost like tattoos. Uh, and when you look really closely, you can see that there are there's like um, uh, fissures inside these patterns where there's a soft glow uh, if you really focus on them. He also has um, right his clothing. He, he's wearing um, like um, a fine set of clothes that look a bit weather worn. He's got a pair of black boots and trousers, a red silken shirt, and a uh, fine coat, black sil with silver trimmings, but no embroidery. And he carries a huge, monstrous glaive made out of like a chunk of obsidian. A glaive is like a the it's like the spear. It's, it's like a halberd. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Like the whole like, thing is made of a chunk of obsidian, or the blade. It's like what Guan Yu uses, I believe. Hmm. Yeah, it's a solid chunk of obsidian. Lord. Jonah's just eating. So he's one of yours, right? Can't say he is. Varric stands up, goes over. He holds out a hand, like a casual handshake. Not like a warrior handshake, but just a casual handshake. Very no better. Oh, hi, I don't know my name. <laughs> Beg your pardon. Naturally, yep. That's not suspicious at all. Beg your pardon. I suppose uh, you could call me... Uh, ah, Ward. Call me Ward. It's what I do. You ward things. Uh, indeed. <laughs> you look so wise. I've heard similar styles of names. Hey, 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 hey. Don't hate until you try it, okay? That's all I'm saying. No, what? no thanks. Also, hers is no much thanks. easier to get into a joke. His is actually a challenge. Hopefully you guys don't get his name into a joke. <laughs> so I'm just stroking her chin, thinking. <laughs> Sounds like Why a challenge Why would you joke about me, a yeah. name? That seems, that seems rude. Uh, don't just worry say. about it, Chief. Well... Ward. He introduces each of you in turn, just pointing. The Tiefling's name is Wise. I don't know if you've so, known a wave. <laughs> Thank you. The elf's name is Sandra. Totally hand wave. The guy with immaculate hair is Aminius. That is nice some fabulous hair, gotta say. <laughs> well, thank you. The red-haired archer is Abigail. Hi! Well done. And he points at the scout. This is Scout Jonah. We just met him ourselves. He just like, just like a salute, but with like the spoon of his mess kit. <laughs> So in, in my time here, would I have noticed um, any signs of Jonah? Mm, well, let's find out. It is, it's, it's in his notes. Jonah's, the massive part of Jonah's personal doctrine as a scout is making sure that whatever you're tracking never learns that he's getting trapped. So he probably leaves very little trace. Uh, not his best put, put forward. Yeah, I guess not. You might have seen some evidence of people traveling through a person, if nothing else. As for whether or not it is Scout Jonah, that is not confirmed, but that being said, you've yet to see anyone else around, like any people. So, it's a safe bet. I thought I was alone out here. <laughs> By the way, where is here? I Jonah know. just looks at Varric. You are one hell of a lost puppy. <laughs> Varric just sort of taps and looks at to the two wizards. And just gestures at Ward like, anything for this? Uh, what? What 
do you remember exactly? Well... I was thrown overboard. Mm. Well, technically they threw my glaive overboard and I jumped in after it. Turns out it sinks like a stone because it's, you know, a rock. it's made out of stone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Not the oh best plan. God. So we and to be fair, in. so am I, kind of, so, you know. Uh, hold on, take a step back. Kind of? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Watch. I turn into stone. <laughs> oh, that's a nice touch. Stony exterior. Hey. Reminds me of Rainy's a bit. Mm. Oh, yeah. Mm, pass. Does that, does that type of name sound familiar to me? I Does don't it sound think like so. a nasty name. I don't know. Uh, not... I guess that's up to O. I don't know what naming conventions he used for rain. Is a thing. I guess it has the term rain in it. So <laughs> if we want to be pun based, like most of you guys do with your fucking names. <laughs> I stole from ah uh, fake. So probably not. Yeah. Wait, really? Who's Called oh, Rainies and a song of ice and fire. Hmm. Anyways, no, that doesn't sound. No, you're familiar. Hey, so thrown overboard. Yeah. Sunk like a rock, cause yeah. Rock. <laughs> Anything else in there? Oh yeah, I walked. Because, you know, can't swim. I did today. <coughs> drown? You, uh, you walked? You walked. Like. Just taking know? a stroll through the fucking ocean. Yeah. I've been trying to do. You know, you know seawater doesn't really right. jive with my wardrobe. I oh, mean, I imagine this all to be very degrading. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> aren't, we, like, aren't we quite far inland? Uh, yes. Like you're, like well, you're more inland than in the bay. Yeah. Yeah. Not a, uh, not a full day. Well, not, yeah. not a full if you, day. If you jump, if you're walking through the ocean, how did you end up out here? That's a very good fucking question. Oh, there, there's a system of caves and tunnels. Go uh, far inland. That's... Like eleven hours far inland. Apparently. I have no idea. Where are we? Eleven hours inland. Away from. <laughs> you don't know Driftwood really? Bay. Never heard of it. Shape. You ever heard of the Jagged Expanse? That's the country. Mm, continent. Nope. Do you know the provinces? Uranus. Your thoughts on lore? Maybe. Oh hmm. my god. <laughs> also, Vericus, is that tunnel thing, like, known? Not that I've heard. Oh, they're filled with water. See, so bad stone. Well, naturally, stone. yeah. Except they can breathe stone. out of the water. It could still get pretty far. Stone eye, anything we know about? Well, not anymore. <laughs> Great. Well, well, that's probably for another day. Something to tell in the reports. So, like, can you? Like, oh. do you not have to breathe, or can you breathe water, or... Enough with, the, enough with the questions, get this amount of food. Uh, okay, fair, I'll give you that. <laughs> you yeah. are I a blessing, you Jonah. Thank you. I, br I, br I, br I, br <laughs> I, I always bring <laughs> two spare bowls, just in case. <laughs> you stirred your ladle. <laughs> Sound effect. <laughs> Drinkies. <laughs> drinking stew sound effect. Mm. Baby Yoda drinking bone broth sound effect. Yeah, bone, bone broth. <laughs> Thanks, baby Yoda. Slurp, slurp. You probably, I don't know, it's up to you how active your mat metabolism is, but I assume Ward is pretty hungry. <laughs> Hasn't eaten three days. Hmm. Uh. Been walking for however long. Do get cleared out, <laughs> at the very least, by you guys, if not by Ward. <clears throat> okay. Well, our new guest here is finishing his food. Let's talk about that bug. 
creature. Mm, uh, yeah, yeah, how you that? Sorry, that is why we're here, Sandra. Sorry, I'm distracted by the person that just showed up and has no memory and was walking across the fucking ocean. <laughs> that was a trap. I will Come admit, on. it has sort of drawn my attention a little bit as well. I, it's not well, that weird. We still have a job to do. We can ask him about about it. Bay over pint. Okay. What have you done with my husband? Offering a pint? What have you done with him? An expression, love. Mm hmm. You'll never know. <laughs> Bigly <Bigley hands. laughs> She rolls her eyes. Anyhow. Oh, uh, one final detail that you would notice now that he's settled in is that he's got a, like, um, on his belt, there is a, um, a very, a very fine tome of some kind. Uh, no writing or anything on it. It's just, it's just like a, a fine tome. Big ass book. Yeah. Like a tome tome, like a legitimate tome. brick. Not a tomb, a tome. No, you guys are just in one of those. Ah, damn. But I'm just gonna confirm it, right? Like, it's like a huge book, right? Yeah. Slim volume. Yeah, that's probably pretty noticeable. <laughs> yeah. So, you guys giving Ward some time to acclimate? I know. Acclimate, digest, I don't know. You guys do begin your guys' own debriefing with Scout Jonah, what he if it is. He pulls out a map. Sets it on like a it's like a, a log split down the middle, so it has like a flat space to act as like a table. 